when we want to really explore the power of Twitter Archivist, we are going to have to sign in and sadly, yes, you will have to pay for data. So let's sign in. Got to sign in with Twitter. So I'll sign in with my account. And I'm in as myself. Now I've got lots of these things running because I, I do this for various festivals. But we'll do a search for a regular type of, of archive. So in this case, we'll just look for Bournemouth again, just plain old we'll search term Bournemouth. We won't filter for anything. And we'll run the search. It's been activated. It will take a certain period of time for that poll to be activated. And when it does, um, it'll be updated periodically. So while that's happening, we could look at one that we've made earlier. Another search to Bournemouth. This is another this is my own archive. Just general search to Bournemouth. And looks similar to the free version. However, you have the option here to download your tweets. So if we go over to the Excel spreadsheet that we have available to us, we could download our tweets. It's generating our spreadsheet. And it's only 3,000 items, so it won't take too long. And now we get the chance to download our spreadsheet, and we'll open it with Excel.